Hello and welcome back to AP Psychology on Educator.com. This particular segment, this particular lesson, we're going to be looking at neurons, neurotransmitters, and neural communication. So we're going to be looking at the micro levels of what it is uh, in terms of how the brain works. Objectives, identify the basic processes and systems in all the biological bases of behavior, including the neuron and the transmission of a signal and also taking a look at drugs uh, on neurotransmitters and their effects, including reuptake mechanisms, antagonists, and agonists. So from the College Board uh, catalog of this course, this is what we're going to be looking at in this segment. Neuron parts. you got to memorize these. Kind of a big deal. You've got your dendrite, and that's going to be receiving information. You've got your cell body, otherwise known as the soma. That helps keep the cell alive. And there are various subparts that we're not going to worry about. The axon sends signals away. There's the myelin sheath or the myelin. Sometimes it's just abbreviated that way. And that covers the axon. And what that does is it speeds the neural speed. It increases the neural speed. It also protects the, the, uh, the axon. There are these things called uh, axon branches. Sometimes they're called terminal branches. There are terminal buttons, sometimes called end buttons, axon terminals, terminal branches of axons, synaptic knobs. As you read more into this, it's going to get easier to start putting all these words together in terms of uh, uh, dendrite, uh, cell body, axon, axon terminal, uh, etc. There are vesicles, uh, otherwise known as synaptic vesicles. They're right near the synapse. The synapse is sometimes called the synaptic gap. There is neural impulse, and that's going to be the way the electrical signal is moving within the, uh, uh, within the neuron. And then there are glial cells. So you've got your neurons that are involved in the electrochemical part, but then there are the glial cells that are involved in housekeeping, nutrition, and support. So they're going to keep uh, dead cells away. They're going to make sure there are nutrients going to the neurons and those sorts of things. And so the glial is, uh, I think it's Latin for, for glue, and it kind of keeps the, um, the brain parts together. This is what a, stru uh, a structure of a neuron looks like. This is a typical neuron. It's oversimplified, but you notice that you have the dendrites, uh, and the dendrites are the branches that receive the signal. The signal travels down into, let's say the, the signal comes from these right here. We've got enough of a signal. We have the signal coming down through the cell body. goes out the axon. And then it goes to the axon terminals. The terminals will have the terminal buttons, etc. Notice here that it has the little space in between the myelin. It's called the node of Ranvier. Don't need to worry about it for AP Psych. I have never seen it referenced. Same thing with the Schwann cell. Never seen it referenced. But this is your basic neuron, uh, neuron that you will be finding uh, inside the brain. So your brain is a big neural network. And a neural network is billions of these. So... Quick, and, quick quiz, how much were you paying attention? Number one here, these receiving neurons, what is that going to be called? Dendrite. This whole thing right here, the whole thing, that's going to be the soma. Remember, soma is the Greek word for body. So uh, the soma is the body of the cell. Uh, this tiny little thing in here, we don't need to worry about it, but we, it is a nucleus. Then you have um, the covering of this thing right here, and the covering is known as the myelin. What is this long thing right here, though? What's that called? Axon. And at the end of the axons, the terminal branches etc. And so you need to know those parts. 